an egg. Mushrooms. Spaghetti. Waffle fries. It's Sunday morning and I'm cooking breakfast. Just getting the toast on as well. Just for me and Bev, because everybody else has gone home for Easter. Got to go down to the shops now. And incidentally, did anyone see that uh, Piano Chat Roulette uh, Improv Merton guys put up a new video? If you've not seen it yet, I suggest you search for it. Because it's stuck in my head already. I'm diagonal like you, but I'm not as blind. And I... Anyway, it's good. Check. We've come in here to look for labels for the back of our prints because we can't just send them prints. They need uh, our names and addresses on the back, just in case we win, which is unlikely. Found it. Actual size label. That's all we need. Chris Watkins let Tom borrow his Xbox. So we won't be seeing Tom for a while. <laughs> Chris doesn't know his, his Tom dropped it down the stairs while he was bringing it up here. Actually, I hope he doesn't see this video. He fixed it though, he put it back together, it seems to be working. There's only the sides split open. Ah, oh, now look, I'm dead. We're off to Asda for another exciting trip to get food. Pick a card, any card, any card, any card at all. Whoa, look at all that food. 38 boxes of noodles, three quid. We got loads of vegetarian stuff towed in the hole. And uh, I don't know, some fillet, vegetable fingers, and uh, vegetarian pies. Those four there cost three quid. Four cheese pizzas for three quid. I've got loads of cheap stuff, yay. We're not gonna go hungry for a few weeks now. <laughs> I bet I'm allowed to enter eight. One of these has to go. Obviously those two are the same, but they're different types of paper. You might not be able to see so well on the phone, but... Ah, I can't decide. Over to the last two prints that I've showed you, I want to show you one more uh, that I've done of Chicago, which I did on a road trip in 2008, if I remember properly. Uh, this is it. I remember when I discovered this location, uh, we had to climb up a, a park, me and Scott, while we were travelling across America, and I, I remember looking over Lake Michigan and, and seeing Chicago there like this, and... I was in awe and I knew we had to go back to visit the place later in the evening for when the sun was setting. So when we arrived back we had to break into the park because it was all locked up and carry up, oh god I've no idea, 80 pounds worth of equipment up to the top of this dune which is uh, a good few hundred feet high. I remember setting up my telephoto lens which at the time was a 400mm on a 1D Mark III and taking a few shots but just 
not getting what I wanted. It wasn't there. But as the sun dropped below the horizon and the sun dropped below the horizon, say, around here, suddenly all the lights on the city turned on. And that's when I knew I got the picture that I wanted. And for me, the most remarkable thing about this picture, there's, there's been no post-processing. I've only had to get rid of uh, bits of sensor dust around here, which were, were unfortunately on my sensor on my camera at the time, which I couldn't do anything about, especially using such a uh, small aperture. But apart from that, what you see is what you get. These are the colours that I saw that night. These were the colours that I shot over a several minute exposure. These silhouettes you see and the lights haven't been tampered with at all. And well, I was really pleased with that shot. So this is the first time really anyone's seen it. It's been in one competition before, was received a distinction. And uh, I hope it gets picked up by one of the judges for this one because I, I really put a lot of effort into this, getting the image and uh, was really pleased with it. And I, it's one of those ones I've been scared of showing off because I don't want it to falter anywhere. I hope you get what I mean, I'm not sure. But yeah, so that's Chicago, a scene from Mount Baldy. First day, 83 of 365, all the prints are ready. Alex Norton's just about to come up and uh, assess for himself whether they're any good or not. I'm not sure if he's the best judge of images, but uh, I think he's pretty good anyway. Uh, we're going out to La Pub tonight to see a CSM thing, which I'll no doubt get some footage of and will be on tomorrow's video. And tomorrow we off to Bath to finally get rid of these prints and submit these images. So, great. Oh, and Ben's on his way around as well. Remember Fat Ben? Yeah, he's alright really. See you later. Bye!